the history, the majesty of it, you know, the fact that it's just after Christmas, we're all um, desirous of something to cheer us up um, after a, a kind of a dull January. Um, I love it, I love the history to it, and we've got an unbelievably exciting uh, tournament this year. I think it's the history and the tradition and the memories we all have. I think anyone growing up in Ireland remembers all the great moments over the years and it's a fantastic, wonderful competition and I'm very impressed with England and their preparation. I think their Eddie Jones is a really impressive coach and they've been hugely um, fascinated by their approach to it and they've become really consistent and obviously Ireland under Joe and his management team have become a team that are really, really hard to beat and obviously France who's to say that they wouldn't turn over Ireland in the first game. It's a huge opportunity, I think. Very even competition across the board, but Ireland are definitely there, thereabouts for it. And uh, our first test away in Paris is going to be a massive challenge. You can never disrespect any team and you can never underestimate them because if you do, you're going to come up short. So very even, but I do think Ireland will be there, thereabouts coming the final weekend. I think it's going to be very, very competitive. I think um, probably the most competitive for a long time, I think uh, any one of uh, the teams can, can get big results and, and could be contenders for the title. I think you just look at Scotland, the way they played in, um, they played in November. Wales are always a threat, they have history in it. Um, England are probably the favourites going into it. Ireland, France as well. So there's a lot of strong teams and I think um, Italy have shown improvements as well. So they can certainly, um, and they'll be trying to target, um, certainly victories at home and uh, to be really, really competitive under Conor O'Shea.